This is our uh, sustenance before we go shooting. <laughs> the best chips and curry in town. Little fish and chip shop that I, I always call to before I uh, go to Blyton, the little ground that we're visiting today. Scotty Fishers are calling, anybody passenger calling. They're lovely. The ground that we're visiting today is uh, the old Joe Weeder uh, shooting ground. Unfortunately, it's passed away a few years ago. It's under new ownership now. Nice little ground, nothing uh, spectacular. Good targets though, but well attended by a lot of local shooters, pigeon men, average shots, good shots, till uh, just beginners. It does have a little archery uh, department as well, where People can come and practice with the, the bows and arrows. They just put some good targets under Zalem. It's always well worth a visit. All right, old mate. Hi, lad. Yeah. How, how long have you been coming here? Me? Hey. Yeah. See them trees there? There's all, I remember them growing. I've right been coming there. that long. But, yeah. but I'll wait to that is. Yeah. yeah. Sure, wait there. What's it like for disabled people for access? Is it, you find it okay? It's not bad, it's all right, yeah. 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 But if I get wrong, I'll manage. Uh, good luck, well, enjoy your day. That's it, what's it all about? Lovely. That's the first day shooting me, wasn't it? Very, very first, I said to John, yeah. we was on about it, and I said, I took you to that shoes at near Naysborough. That's right, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's some Allerton, Allerton, Allerton. That'll be 1994, because I started shooting in 94. Yeah, it would like be, that, yeah, yeah, it would be, yeah, maybe 93, 94, yeah. yeah. And you when know, you look at grounds, I mean, a lot of them have vanished now. Yeah, right, like yeah. Junction 3, where me and you yeah. first really met, didn't it? Junction 3. Three, three yeah. Brilliant little ground. Like and the when, when, when traps. Yeah, when, um, Clive used to like then, didn't he? Yeah. Listen, but we've had some good shoots, me and you. Really? I've had some right laughs with you. Yeah, you know, I mean, listen to this one. He had a white van, escort van, on top of pile that had just gone there, right? Oh, I said, that looks all right. They lifted, li yard, yeah. li lifted it down. It's true, is this? <laughs> lifted it down, right? Two days after, went to pick Loving up. We went to our lodging. It went down all the way to our lodging. This scrap, this van, it pulled up a pile. I said, it, it, I said, it came in running. Can you get it down for me? <laughs> it so went all the way down to our lodging. Me and loving. Yeah. Just coming to the first practice stand. That's all you do is take this electrical unit around with you, plug that in, and uh, you can set it. If you're on your own, you can set it for. Um, Shooting for yourself, a bit of a delay, can't you, John? What was that, Chris? Well, that the uh, uh, well, they having another stroke there. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. More That didn't come in much, did it?
flying underneath it. Right, I tell you what I'm doing now then. I've still got the course, the old bastard. Keep the gun a bit lower. Right. Right. Then what? Then what? Keep the gun a bit lower and just lift up to it, up, it, up to its ass. Well. Keep the gun a bit lower. <laughs> Rising, uh, rising target. That's it, John. It's dropping in. And it's quite easily it's dropping back in here. But uh, there's a lovely quick bird. Looks like a midi. Is it a midi, that Chris? That second one? No, uh, don't think so. It's a good bird, isn't yeah, it? it is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Another feature of that pinewood is this lovely little lake, full of trout actually as well. And uh, he usually puts some nice birds on here, crossing or coming into us. So we'll have a look, see what we've got here. Oh! oh. Never saw that. Oh. Oh, that was a nasty one, wasn't it? Miss and smoke. Last pair coming up. Yeah, guinea pig again. That's make, making me go first. So, even though I've only got one, I am a cripple. And John, he's been shooting 40 years. Yeah, you think he's only been shooting a week? <laughs> right, what are we doing first, John? Red or blue? What I am talking that film is, miss a few to make me look good. Uh, that's what we're doing. Make it, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm all set to make him look good. What you get here on the same in the same stand is two two stands really, red and blue. We're going to shoot the red first. A looper and B looks like an incomer. The blue looks like uh, one two crosses really. Marcus, nice sit round. 75 we've, sh we've shot it there between us. Good. Or 75 each. Yeah, I think, I, I, apart from last stand, you did me on the last stand, <laughs> I couldn't see him. <laughs> that, that's my excuse. Listen, but it was not a better I think shot. I shot a 64 yeah. or 5 and Chris will have shot a 42. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he hasn't changed. Nice no, shot you here, yeah, I think you just I think you just beat Chris. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, are going a little bit lower and you're going to chop it off yeah. and keep going up with it. Cool. Fast. Go on. Right, you're just over the top of that. But give it a little bit more lead as well. Let me have another. Keep your gun a bit lower on it. Right. Okay. right. Yeah. Pull. Move. You see what I mean? Yeah. Good lad. Shot that hard sport trap there, it is hard. A little Jack. Whopped us all. 14 year old, only been shooting two years. <laughs> 16. 16. <laughs> 17 and a 15. <laughs> so, well done, Jack. Bit of coaching of Uncle Dave. Good lad. Well done. Well, we've had a really nice day at Pinewood uh, near Blyton, Gainsborough. Lovely little ground. Just set up for uh, lads that want to come and shoot at anything, and especially the, the sport trap. It's a wonderful layout. Good training for anyone that likes art targets as well. And uh, if you're passing this way, I should uh, call in and have a look, have a look round. You won't be disappointed, especially in the targets anyway. And uh, the chap that runs it, if you need any coaching or any other knowledge or anything, is, uh, is there to give hand. This film is part of our tour of all the clay shooting grounds in Britain, great or small. We intend on visiting as many as possible. I think it is crucial that we show how big and important all shooting sports are to the countryside as a whole, thus ensuring that it continues to grow unabated.